like we did. More like the other way around. We have her to thank for all that crash boom bang. That lightning. That was Gramps, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a warning to invaders. Not one more step. <sighs> Sorry, Gramps. I can't just leave someone who needs help. Huh. This is turning into an eventful day for once. Oops. I pressed the button I probably shouldn't have. How did I go change? Thank you. Just want to change the volumes. That's what I like. Okay. Uh, no. That's what I wanted. All right, let's go see if this is the same thing. That was a cool monolith. Oh, it's different. We've had quite a bounty of discoveries today. If I'm not mistaken, that stone is a lot newer than the surrounding ruins. Yeah, it's from a completely different age. It read like advice of some sort. Most likely it's a guidepost left by previous visitors to aid fellow travelers. Cool. So we're not the only ones who go around investigating ruins. Humans <laughs> have terms for them. Things like adventurer or explorer. Explorers. All right, guys, I actually never saw those before. That's kind of cool. Um, we want the chest. We want that other monolith. We want to kill both Hellions, but I'm your host, Zentis, for playing Tales of Zestiria. I'm really sorry about the uh, opening and about not being able to edit this. Um, so I've done some, a lot of some recording. Ready, everyone? And, well, not a lot, but so like I said no last shit. time, you know, it works with a diff. I have to go through all this stupid stuff. Thank you. All right. Ready? I know I got hit no in the back. It's but, over. Yeah, we have to Take that. go through all that. But Ready? yeah, I can't no use a uh, premiere. How's to, this? All right. Uh, render well or done. encode my Big videos on. for some reason for this, it's which over. is not something I would Strike want. I was really hoping it won't end here. that I could do Duh. something kind of cool. Duh. Duh. What? I'm just gonna turn their volume down. Are you down safe, Stray? Your vol you talk too loud. Their voices go down to their... The movie, I want to stay a movie, you know? But that playtime... Ooh, playtime has been... So far... Oh, that's cool. I can see my playtime down there. So we played so far two minutes. That's kind of cool. I'm going to use that from now on. Receive apple gels. Apple gel! But, yeah. Unfortunately, Is I can't do my... Yeah. It appears the wisdom of pertaining to battles and blah blah blah. Guarding. We just learned that. I still don't know what AP is. I'm very new to this type of game. I've played other Tales games, but they've been on different systems. Like I've never played a Tales game on a computer. I'm ready. That's cool. Yeah, this is so much more doable there talking. So I'm really sorry about that first battle. I'm still trying to you know, get some um settings worked out. I thought I saved that last time, but I guess I didn't. Maybe it just doesn't save for some reason. Oh, well. oh, we were out of the action points. That's cool. So, that's something, like the SC, we were out of that. We're walking kind of weird. That's what I've noticed in this game. We walk really awkwardly. Okay, there's nothing here. Well, I don't know that. I didn't look in the ground. I just looked to see if there was any Hellions about. Hellions. Of course, you guys, I have to go this way. Ah! Yep. I'm ready. Yeah. Perform Be a gone. quick step with L plus. Quick step. Quick step forward, back, blah, 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 blah. Oh, that was cool. That was no huge, stick. guys. Alright. Black. I like blocking. I'm gonna try it. It allows us to build up our SC again, which is kind of cool. Nope. Nope. Come here. Ready? Come. Try that. All right. Come on, everyone. All right. 
It's over. All right, that quick step Go. maneuver is going to be really, really nice. It's over. Looking at our little SC chip right down there. We yeah. managed to escape for now. Eh, raid's not too shabby, but. So this is our map. You know, we can just hold it by pressing L2. But we're gonna. I won't spoil anything. It just won't happen. Not today, not today. Ancient circlet. Alright, who can wear the ancient circlet? Uh, <clears throat> uh huh. So if they do the exact same, I'm gonna keep this one because you notice that this one has zero stars at the top and this one has one. So, uh, RT, right? That's what I'm holding. Ah, okay. Defense, defense, gain, spear. Alright, and you have spear, reset, resist, defense, and attack. Cool! I'm liking it. What's up, my brother? He actually is kind of like a brother, so it's not weird at all if I say that. I That's very important. That's also important. Crap. Oh, he goes in there if I don't do it? Okay. Last time I did it, so. Might as well help myself to some treasure. I'll tell you what it is when we get back. Aww. Come on. Let's keep moving. I'm actually excited for this. Uh, I won't tell you what it is because it's actually pretty nifty if you ask me. So, we'll just, you know, we'll get going. Receive some la- I want to see something right now. Can we? Uh, no, we cannot. So close, but it's still so far. In the end, can jump? it doesn't even Only matter. Wait, whenever they say that, I think it's like that I can say select or something. There's gotta be ways to. Let's look for some clues. You're in my way! Let's just go for it. Oh yeah, look, there's something back here. Oh, hello. I actually didn't see this before. Alright, the lower SC, the higher the damage you inflict, but this is generally not recommended. SC's recovery rate is preferential to your SC level, so low SC also means lower so recovery. Fighting while maintaining a high SC is more fit effective than attacking until it completely runs out of course the enemies going all up like when enemies are stunned so yeah when enemies are stunned we do, we do good things now let's just look down well uh huh okay maybe not yeah no that's terrifying oh hey hey watch out that's you scare me like that it. sorry about that all right so that's well, we what it was. we definitely can't make it from here. There should be a connecting point somewhere. Let's go back and see what we can find. I'm on the star. Um. Speak to you? I think there'd be something. Doesn't look like anywhere in the upper floor leads to the other side. Let's check the lower one one more time. You got it. But wait, there's more. Yeah, buddy. Huh. You don't suppose... See, look at that. Uh -huh. There, take a look. <laughs> hmm? Go on, look closer. Come on, we don't have time for this. Let's cut the fun and games, all right? Oh, then let me explain. As you see. Ugh, forget it. Let's just go back down there. <laughs> Mick Leo's <laughs> upset. Losing. I'm so glad we talked to him beforehand, you know, saying, like, oh, hey, you know, there's probably, I wonder if there's a path down there. Because I didn't do that my first time. Like, I haven't, d like, done a lot of the talky talky bits. So, yeah, I know exactly where we're going to get to today. Uh, these episodes are probably going to be a little bit longer than most, just because I do want to just get through the intro today. So, um, we'll do that. Let's just go over there. There'll be a little bit, uh, this episode's going to go a little bit differently because there's some things you know that I see we have to so do that's the deal yep yep there's a staircase they're coming out from below um nope 
think Who I said this one last that time. you could walk in midair here? Or that an invisible bridge would be here? See, they're both stupid, so it's like think it I can't say the right one. Well, well, aren't you sharp today? <laughs> hey, Clue, you're kind of a turd, but I like For you at the same change. time. See, look at that. He's such a turd. Oh, right. Because it's a slow ride. But yeah. We're going to... safe enough. Yeah. Tom, you discover a point. Bridge. Unique uh, teach area. Discover points in your place. The note in there. You want to know it's close by. We cannot pinpoint location. Well, most of points located. Yeah, okay. This bridge is incredible. How do you think it was made? I think this is beyond the capabilities of human technology. Oh, definitely. So, like... The bridge alone might date from the era of the gods? Possibly. But either way, they definitely had assistance, whether from Seraphim like me or someone else. True that. They really didn't want anyone to reach the other side. The path ahead leads to Elysia. It stands to reason that they do what they can to protect the Pure Land. In the past, any pilgrims who showed up at the shrine probably thought the gap was simply uncrossable. Same as we did until just minutes ago. <laughs> so good job picking up on that. Yeah, Your intuition we got that compliment. is always impressive. Oh yeah? For its rarity. Oh there we go. I knew it was too good to be true. So good. Actually that made me think of something that I have to do right now. Hello from the other side. Okay, we're done. My terrible singing. Ooh, there's a hole up there. Hi hole. Let's go say hi to Spear Girl. Hi, Spear Girl. I won't talk during this cutscene. It's muy importante. Maybe we should rethink this. Hey. Uh, are you alright? I was... I was in a forest, and then... Looking for this? Yep, she's human, all right. <laughs> yeah. Glad you're okay. Uh huh. I'm sure sorry to have troubled you, and you are. I'm sorry. Well, you're your, your name. name. Thank you, Mikleo. Uh, oh. Right. My name. I'm Saray. Saray? Yep. Nice to meet you. Well met. Is there anywhere one could rest around here? Yep. I'll need to make plans to get back to the capital. You're from the city? Well... Um... Hmm. Why don't you come to where I live? <laughs> so, Ray, are you nuts? Are you sure that wouldn't be a problem? You barely know me. I can't just abandon someone in need. That's all. Haven't you noticed that she won't even volunteer her name? It's only natural to be cautious. Well, duh. So Ray's not an idiot, Aren't you going guys. to ask my name? Are you sure? Everyone has their reasons, but you don't look like a bad person to me. I cannot possibly thank you enough, Saray. <sighs> Gramps is gonna let us have it when we get back. I know. 
Yes? Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> that anyway, was crazy. that's the way out. Let's get moving. So humans cannot see Seraphim. So to her, you know, he's kind of talking to himself, which obviously is a little crazy. It's down here. Ooh, this is actually different than going up, I think. Um, let's just see it. I have not yet been down here, so. Oh yeah, this is very different than the way forward. I don't know if there's much here. Let's just do a little bit of exploring. I love exploring. It won't open. It doesn't seem like there's any kind of hidden mechanism, though. How strange. Dang it. Well, that just makes it, you know, official that we're going to be going to there eventually. And that makes me very happy, but... For right now, let's just check this. Oh, only 12 minutes. Going up or down? Okay, I'm confused. Have you only played? No. Couldn't have only played that little. Eh. Let's just head on out. We'll do a little bit more. Just leave this I don't want to have to remind you, but keep your eyes on the girl. Of okay. course, Mikleo. But too bad we didn't meet in better circumstances. Ooh. <sighs> you really don't have a skeptical bone in your body. Nope, not at all. Sorry as a dude, though. Like, not in that way, but, like, he's great. I love him. Been with him for, like, two and a half hours, you know, in the first playthrough. I picked his brain with <sighs> We made it back in one piece. Wow, it's beautiful. Like a shrine out of myth. I half expect to see Seraphim wandering around. <laughs> Sorry. It's funny. You really do call them Seraphim. Yeah. Is that funny to you? No. Nope. Things which cannot be seen or explained, such as gods, spirits, or supernatural phenomena, are revered by the people as Seraphim. It means that Miklio right? is a spirit, pretty much. A quote from the Celestial Record? Bingo. You've read it too? Yep. Wait, you as well? I used to read it all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> it's a little ways from here to my village. Let's get moving. <laughs> okay. Uh, did it just stop or something? No, okay, thank gosh. Oh, I didn't save it before we left. I was, like, super scared. But, yeah, so... We're out here now. I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring, a little bit of talking. I love to explore in this game, so... Let's actually talk to her real quick, see what happens. Is anything wrong? No, I'm just taking it back. I never imagined the ruins would lead me to such a place. I'm just gonna try to find a place where I can get a select action going. You know, I, I love when you can do the select button, so. I don't remember. Yeah, oh, there is a. Oh, I actually never found this chest. There are chests hidden around here, but. This is not one that I was aware of. Life bottle. Okay. So I figured there'd be one hidden back. Yeah. Snacks but... are done. What? What? Finally, back. let's see now. Today we managed to fall into a pit and encounter Hellions for the first time. Meet an Earth Dweller. Did I miss anything? Oh, that's all you have to say. Um, why did it say snacks are done? I am. Oh, hey, what's up? Saffron. Cool. Like the rice. All right, we'll do a little bit more exploring later, because we have to come back down here, and I don't want to, you know, ruin too much of the terrain, or the plot, so, iPhone. So let's go do one of my favorite things, let's go into the village, and let's talk to everyone.
And I mean everyone. I love talking to people in this type of game. So, uh, is the Celestial Record a children's book? <laughs> hmm? Well, I mean, you said you read it when you were a kid. Plenty of adults read it, too. I was probably just mature for my age. Oh, yeah? Huh. Well, figures. I mean, it is an amazing book. Yes. Well, looks like someone's enjoying himself. <laughs> this is my village, Alicia. So it's not Camlon, but Alicia, then. Then the rumors were false after all. What? Wait, what? Ooh, he's touching me up. I can see that copier sitting by you. Just how many times have you read it? Oh, wait, same thing. Yep. Dang it. I'm gonna try talking to her a little bit more, too. What are those creatures? What do you mean, creatures? They're goats. Yeah, don't you have goats? Goats? Are they usually this big? Uh. Yeah. Do you have a different thing to say now? Oh. Dang it! But What's that? Point of point of point of Speak. Something on Facebook, Leo. Just hope you know what you're doing, that's all. Point of interest. Where's the point of interest? I wanna check it. <laughs> Found it. Such robust horns. Just like the dragons of legend. Yep. <laughs> what, like in fairy tales? You're something else. Don't Ugh. go near it! There's no telling how dangerous untamed beasts like those are. It's a goat. Ah, don't worry. Still hurt. We're friends. Oh, well, mostly. They did kick me four or five times when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Your friends? Yep. Sometimes they give me milk, and I make cheese and yogurt with everyone. You've made yogurt out of goat milk? The mark of true friendship. Yeah, it's the best. I love how they, like, slide a little bit. Like, they go back and forth. How Saray tried moving aside when she's just like, uh, what? And then how she moved closer. I think that was, like, super cute. Anyway, let's go into the village. Let's talk and see what we have one more time. It's that one. That's that one. Okay, nothing new. But yeah, he's a little taken aback because to humans, it is just a little children's book, like the slash a record. So I get where he could be coming from. Notice the little, yep, they walked through um little barrier there. Saray POV. I'll go report this to Gramps. Guess we can't keep quiet about all this. Coming by afterwards? Yeah. Hey everyone! Got someone to introduce to you. Alright, so basically everyone's gathering up, and this isn't her eyes we're viewing from right now. This is my family, living here at the shrine. Now we're looking through her eyes, but she actually can't see the people. Is this, uh, some see, kind of this is performance what she sees. piece? <laughs> no, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're an odd duck, you know that? I guess. That's my house. You go ahead and rest. I've got something <laughs> to take care of. May I have a look around the village? Well, sure, but don't cause trouble. She can't see the people, though. How of course would she not. Cause trouble I'll behave as if I were in a shrine to the Seraphim. That, that's what... Yeah, exactly. You're in. I'll try not to make any waves. <laughs> Okay. Oh man, I sure hope Mick Leo's chat with Gramps went over well. Dude, I would do. I just want to talk to her. I haven't talked to her yet since I've uh, gone in the village before. Or this man. I didn't even know he existed. 
What's up, Tachio? Well, she's here already. What's done is done, but you probably ought to cut back on your ruin adventures a bit. That ruin, let's just say it goes deeper than you might ever imagine. I'm looking forward to that. How natural and untouched a place. I never imagined such a dwelling still existed in the world. True that. Let's talk to these people. They came up to greet us and they stayed. Natalie. I hate to be the one to say this, but you should send her back. As quickly as possible. It's the best thing for everyone concerned. And what do you have to say, Mason? You get it? Don't no, you get it, don't you, Sray? We're invisible to humans. Just the fact that you can live alongside us like this makes you pretty special. So yes, yeah, Saray is a human, Seraph Seraphim are invisible to them. Continuing on. Kime. Sorry, I no, I keep saying it, but you've got to be careful with those Hellions. You might be able to drive them off, but you can't do away with them for good. It's a pity, but we Seraphim don't have the power to purify them. Okay. So we have to purify them, right? Luana, could that girl be a knight? A knight's purpose is to fight. Are we safe with her around? Media, so you were off scouting about those ruins with Miklio again, and bringing a human girl back with you too? She must be your greatest find yet, no? I mean, I've seen those ruins, I, I would imagine, so... Mirna, a bravura performance, right? <laughs> I suppose that's how it would appear to most humans, isn't it? Press stay button. Thank you. Shiren. Hey, you felt that too, right? A disturbance in Gramps' domain? Or maybe I'm just imagining things. Well, I mean, she's right there, buddy. Shiren, Shiren, Shiren. I don't know how to pronounce her name. There's someone who I call the brown-eyed girl who we're going to meet because she's my favorite of all the Seraphim other than Miklio. That, we've, that we'll have met, you know, today so far. Lawrence. A human girl in Alicia? <laughs> it's the biggest thing to happen here since Gramps turned up here with uh, baby Saray and Miklio. So yeah, we're not from here. Alright, so there's one, two, three, four. Four people left. We're looking for the brown-eyed girl right now. <clears throat> this is not she. This is a boy. Ed. I couldn't care a jot about a human with no resonance. She can't see us, and soon enough she'll leave. Aren't I right? So yeah, resonance is why we can see them, but she cannot. It is unfortunate. Very. Alright, let's just see. Can we walk through here? Like, this is supposed to be impassable. Is this my brown-eyed girl? This is the brown-eyed girl. Alright. Cynthia. You mustn't be too trusting, Stray. You can't be too careful of Earth Dwellers from the land below. But yeah, so with this type of game, typically when you talk to people, you actually learn a lot about the game, about like the setting and whatnot. Uh, I relate it more to a visual novel than anything, and since this is called story mode, unfortunately we are going to talk to everyone that we can. Um, Sean. Mikhail went looking pretty troubled, but don't let it get to you. He and Gramps have your best interest in heart. You know that, right? <clears throat> I already forgot his name. Melody. I wonder how long it's been since I saw a human other than Sray. Yawning. At least a couple hundred years. I just hope this isn't a bad omen. So yeah, Seraph, little Seraphim, live a long, long time. I mean, they're spirits, so it make it only makes sense, but... You are probably just gonna talk to... You do the Gramps thing, and we're going to do one more thing, and then it'll be the end of the episode, so, more and more. We saw a terrifying flash of lightning over by the ruins. Were you hurt at all? <clears throat> Man, my throat is just, like, dying. Absolutely dying. Oh, there is something over here. I remember this place was in the Celestial Record. There we go. Found news got right point. Elise Lark Nest. Oh, hey. There's no baby Elisa Larks in the nest anymore. I remember when one of them fell from the nest. I was going to keep it and raise it, but Gramps wouldn't let me. Oh. A kept bird will never learn to fly, he said. Put it back. It's so true. Guess you made it out of the nest on your own, huh? 
So I've actually not seen that one yet, but that is so true. I've noticed that this game has like a lot of um, like little things in it that are like life lessons. Uh, I think that one's more for parents to children. And I'll let you hear the rest from Soray himself. <laughs> I reckon I'll have to. You idiots! Hi, <laughs> Gramps. I'm back. How could you bring a human into our domain? Easy, Gramps. Didn't you say you'd listen to Soray's side of the story, too? That's just what I'm about to do. You know full well the rules, Soray. How could you break them like this? I'm sorry, Gramps, but I couldn't just leave her there. Her kind is sure to bring nothing but trouble to our domain. But I'm her kind too, you know. Oh. You were raised along with our kind, which nurtured in you the ability to perceive us and converse with us. Normal humans have no such capacity. You should understand that more than anyone else. Well, it is true. She doesn't appear to have any resonance. But Gramps, this is the first time Soray's ever met a fellow human. Aw, that's so sad. Perhaps. But if she can't see or hear the same things we do, she has no business in this realm. <coughs> uh. I have raised both of you as my own since you were but babes, all the while doing my best to protect this land. And for that, I am grateful. Hmm. And I did that because the time draws near when you will both serve to protect this shrine, just as all the others have done. Our priority is the peace of Elysia. Any intruders, no matter how harmless, must be cast out. You got it, Gramps. I'm sorry. Yes. Then it's time she left. Can we at least give her time to prepare for her departure? Hmm. Just make it quick. Thank you. See, he's understanding, so... It's not like he's like a complete jerk and be like, Oh, nope, get, get out. Gramps. I know, I know, McLeo. He means well, in all things. And that's the very reason why I'm so worried for him. Oh, Look at that smile. I love it. Alright, you know what? I'm thinking that this 36 minutes is actually how long we've been going right now. So, unfortunately, you guys, I am going to... Please don't tell me they have anything else to say. I'm going to speak to everyone else. I'm going to go save. And then that'll be it. So I hope you guys will enjoy the episode. And thank you for making me a part of your Saturday. In this rate, Alicia is an untamed and glorious place, but the land below is a different story. Even when you've been staring at the same scenery for thousands of years, it can still startle you with its beauty. <laughs> yeah. That... I totally agree, bud. I didn't remember that he was going to ask, so I figured I should uh, do it myself. Just see where everyone is on the map. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, we'll just go talk to these people. What's up, buddy? Um. Oh, I never talked to that girl the other time. Uh, can you believe it? The land below is steeped in malevolence. Their rivers and springs are too poisoned to drink from. It sure sounds like a different world compared to life here in Elysia. So I should try speaking to 
her first. How do we speak with you? It's in times of peace when you should be training yourself up to prepare for disasters. You never know when one may come along, after all. I mean, that's valid. I completely agree with your statement. It's just a little morbid. Graham's Thunder is something special, isn't it? I heard a great boom all the way from over here. So about that girl, is that your type, Saray? I think that, um, Melody is kind of, you know, hitting on us a little bit. Trish, Trish the thought. Yeah, I'm sorry that this is going to be a bit of a long episode. I am very happy, though, that you, if you've made it this far. Saray, are you training yourself up? Whatever you're doing, you look like you're burning with power and energy. Is that, uh, is it that you fought something in the ruins? Maybe. She sure is pretty. I understand that you want to be friends with her. But still. So yeah. Like, if you guys made it this far, just thank you. Like, so, so much. Uh, just in the past week alone, I've already obtained, like, a bunch more subscribers for me. So at the bottom of the mountain is the human's capital city. I imagine she must have come from there. Um, so you found that girl somewhere in the ruins, huh? I wonder what she was doing there. Uh, she was exploring. Duh. Come on, Saray. For God about... Forget about entertaining that guest of yours and come prickleboard hunting with me. I mean, maybe someday. So yeah, we're just going to talk to these last three people and save because when we talk to her, we have other stuff to do. So that'll be last. We'll talk to Cynthia last too before going to bed. Before saving. Well, she doesn't look like she has any ill intent toward us. But the most disturbing thing about humans is that you never know if someone's a scoundrel just from their appearance. I mean, some people you do. I don't like the idea of keeping watch on her, but I don't see that I have much choice. My first priority is keeping Alicia safe. She's been making a huge fuss about all the nature and the landscape, like they're somehow extraordinary. Strange girl, if you ask me. But anyway, guys, if you liked the video, do please leave a like button. Uh, it will help me so very much to get more of those subscribers that I was talking about. Uh, subscribe for more content. As always, I'm your host, Zentis, and I will see you all in the next one. Guys, see you soon. Uh, remember that there's another one coming up today, even, at 11 o'clock. So that'll be, just, that'll be quite soon, in fact. So take a little bit of a break, a little reprieve from me and my voice. I don't know what you can call it, but yeah. See you guys then. Peace.